name is Milioni Fraser Fletcher from Cheadle Hume School and I'd like to share with you why I want to be a scientist. My passion is history, so you might be wondering why I want to be a scientist. But the thing is, historians use science to help them discover about the past. I'd like to tell you about the recent discovery of King Richard III's body in a Leicester car park. However, what amazes me is the fact that they can confirm that it was him and then find out when and how he died. Archaeologists have recently discovered how King Richard died. But how? Dr. Jo Appleby was carrying out an examination of an initial trauma to the skeleton when she noticed a small traumatic lesion on the interior of his cranium. From this, she managed to work out the direction of the injury and the depth of the wound using specialist lighting equipment. Not only can archaeologists work out what killed a skeleton, they can also work out when a skeleton died. This is called carbon dating. Carbon dating measures the amount of carbon-14 that is left in an object. Certain elements have more than one type of atom, called isotopes. Carbon has an isotope called carbon-14 that is radioactive, and this is used to measure age. Scientists can work out when something died with only two pieces of information. The half-life of carbon-14, which is 5,730 years, and the number of atoms the remains had when it died. We assume the remains would have had as many atoms as the same living organism today. The next question is, how do they know the remains of King Richard? This involves historians and scientists working together in a technique called DNA profiling. All living cells contain a unique set of instructions that is called DNA. This is inherited from your parents, and so any ancestor of King Richard would have his DNA. Scientists can isolate the DNA from samples of hair or bone from the ancient remains, and it is then down to historians to find a direct descendant. This was successfully done when Michael Ibsen, son of Richard's 16 generation niece, had DNA that matched those of the ancient remains. Scientists then went on to sequence the entire set of instructions called the genome of Richard III, who was the first ancient person of known historical identity to have had this done. I find the fact that history and science can work...